Hi, my name's Marie. I'm the Deputy Manager of the Small Animal Department at Wood Green Animal Shelters in Cambridgeshire and I'm going to advise you how to care for hamsters. I'm going to tell you how to find a lost hamster. First of all, the key thing is to prevent it from happening. Make sure you choose suitable accommodation that's going to keep your hamster calm and they're going to be enriched and enjoy living in that space. When choosing a hamster cage, make sure it's as big as you can possibly provide, so at least aim for a floor space of around two to three feet in length. If it's a Syrian hamster cage, you want a small rat cage for them with really high mesh that they can climb around and you can put lots of levels in. If it's a Russian to Roborowski hamster, the best option is going for a glass tank or plastic tub so that they are able to be completely secure and can't squeeze for any gaps. The other option, the other key thing for them is also to provide them with lots of enrichment. A bored hamster is far more likely to escape unless, if they've got lots of enrichment, they're less likely to do it. Things like tunnels, houses, fruit tree branches for them to climb on and to chew. They can have all sorts of bedding materials for them to rummage through as well. So include this and this will keep them busy and active. Every week when you clean out your hamsters, make sure it's as fresh and as new as possible. Change toys around and again that will keep them really interested. When you're taking your hamsters from the cage, make sure you've got a secure carrier cage that they can remain in whilst you're moving them around and cleaning the cage out. So, if the unfortunate that your hamster does escape, bear in mind hamsters can travel and they can travel up to a mile. So please don't just focus on one small area in your house because there is a chance it may have escaped. Consider contacting your local pet shops, vets and even, and even animal shelters and possibly pass around po um, posters of loss to report that you have lost your hamster and hopefully they will then get in contact with you if they do find them. The room that you have lost your hamster in, shut that as close as you can and make sure you search under all sorts of beds, under your bookcases. There's a chance they have hidden under different areas. Bear in mind that Syrian hamsters and all breeds of hamsters are nocturnal, so they're not going to be that active in, in the day. So your best option is to be able to look in the early evening for your hamster. Sit still in a room for a while and stay quiet and listen out for any noises. There could be a chance that they're under the floorboards or they're in amongst the bookshelves. So listen for any rattling noises or any chewing noises because they probably found something to nibble on. You could go for the option of placing a carry cage or even their cage in the middle of the floor and place a ladder and lots of tasty treats around there. There is a chance they may then return there. Whatever you do, make sure if you've got other pets in the house that they are secure and make sure you keep an eye on them in case the hamster does wander close by. So that's how to find a lost hamster.